What's up YouTube, I'm Joe and you're watching my channel Ink and Iron and today I'm going to take this case and fill it with this foam. This is a pick and pluck foam from I think foamfactory.com. I'll put a link in the description. But uh, yeah, you can pick it apart. Um, this particular one is cut to half inch. So these are about like, you know, 12 millimeters squares and uh, apparently is cut all the way to the edge. So going to resize it to fit this case and uh, put my knives in there because currently this is what I'm rocking for my knives storage. Oh, hi Zeb. They're all laying flat and uh, some of these drawers are getting a little bit crowded. So I'd rather keep like fixed blades and tools and uh, pens in here and I'll keep all my folding knives in the case. Yeah, that's what I'd like to do. So let's uh, empty this guy out and resize this foam and uh, we'll see how it works. Okay, so the first thing I did was clean out the case so you can see it's pretty clear. And then uh, I totally forgot it has this series of pockets that are actually removable. Turn this little thing, take the latch off of there and this comes out. So uh, I might be able to keep some sharpening supplies, some Torx drivers, some stuff like that back here in the lid. So. Next step, I'm going to cut the foam to fit in here and then cut a new uh, liner piece for the top as well. And I think the knife I'm going to use to do that is uh, this guy. This is the Viper Knives Bellone. And uh, yeah, it's pretty sick. Uh, I've got a first impressions coming up of this guy. So well, let's get going. Let me give you a gander. That uh, turned out about as well as I could have hoped. Uh, this is the three inch deep foam and uh, looks like it was the right size for this case. I thought it was gonna be about three and a half inches deep, but uh, yeah, probably three and a half, maybe three and a quarter even. Uh, the bottom of this is lined with foam. So when I pick out these little rectangular pieces, um, the knives will slot down and be touching the bottom foam. There isn't, um, cross cuts, so to speak. So once you pluck the foam out, it is the entire length of that foam all the way through. Um, that being said, you can cut little pieces and like shove them in there for shorter knives. Um, I probably will have to do that for a few of them. And then uh, just this plain old egg crate looking foam. Um, this turned out really well. It still fits the insert behind it. Um, it does press against these little metal tabs here. So I may have to cut some notches just to make it fit a little more comfortably and it will give me a very consistent way to uh, put it back in the case each time. But the case closes with all this foam in here and should keep my knives really, really safe. So uh, the next shot you see will be the completed uh, move of all of my knives into here. Y'all ever get into something uh, thinking it's gonna be easy and then you know, you start spreading the knives out, trying to count them and figure out how many need to fit in your new knife case and realize <laughs> you have a problem. <laughs> well, uh, I've got some decisions to make. This is a lot of knives. <sighs> so all the ones on the bottom here definitely going in. Maybes on these guys. Maybes. They may end up in the back of this case. But uh, yeah, you'll see the result here in just a sec. So Zeb fell asleep during the process. He sleeps with his eyes open. Anyway, here's the case. Uh, it does wanna open itself up pretty hard, but this foam is new. I think it'll break in and be a little bit uh, easier to close, but take a look at this. It is slightly back weighted. I'll show you why in a second. But here they all are in nice padded foam. Uh, you can actually lay knives on top 
and the compression from this foam appears so much that they actually don't move. So that's pretty cool. And then right behind here, I did end up cut some notches just using uh, this knife right here, Northfield Arms. This is a three blade, I'll have to give it its own review soon. But cut those notches in there and then put the retired knives back here to uh, hang out in peace away from the rest of the crowd. They don't have to get their photos taken if they don't want. So there you have it. That's the knife collection. Oh man, I'm gonna have to do a collection update video, but uh, thank you for joining me for this uh, little DIY project, side project I have going on. Um, I may fit multi-tools in here, I don't know. I assume this case is gonna evolve as uh, my collection evolves, but uh, thank you for watching. If you wanna see more, hit subscribe. Uh, like the video if you liked it. If you didn't like it, tell me why in the comments and thumbs down. Not here to make bad content forever. All right, I've been Joe and you've been watching Ink and Iron and I'll catch you on my next video. Bye.